Good morning folks, how are you doing? Welcome back Football Digest Daily. My name is Nyash. I hope you're doing good. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, it was action packed, Maze. Hey, lots of action. Uh, flying left, right and centre. So where do we start? Bundesliga. It was concluded this season. Wali Maliza game week 34. Uh, of course, it's not news that uh, Bayern Munich won the league. That's not news. I don't think it's also news that uh, Lewandowski won the golden boot. Or the cannon, if you like. Uh, he scored 34 goals. Uh, Timo Werner was second with 28 goals. That's a good conversion. Um, maybe the only piece of news here is that uh, Monchen Gladbach beat Leverkusen to the Champions League spot, number four. Because they were fighting for it. It was always between Monchen Gladbach and Bayer Leverkusen. At one point in time, it, seems like, it seemed like Leverkusen had it in the bag. And then they lost it, and from then on, they did not recover. And from then on, Munchen Gladbach did not lose a single game. Wameshinda tu kushinda, kushinda, kushinda. And just like that, now they are fourth. Leverkusen are fifth. And of course, the leverage that maybe Leverkusen are hoping to have on Kai Havertz in terms of demanding a big fee, sasa imepunguka kidogo, because, you know, wako Europa. So if our Champions League team comes with a big offer, most likely they will be obliged to sell, because they can't offer Champions League football. And that was that. Then we also had La Liga. La Liga pia in a shika moto. Uh, like this weekend, on Saturday, we had a draw between Celta Vigo and Barcelona. By the way, that game had some superb goals. Just go check out the, the, the highlights of that game. Zilikuwa Kalimbaya. There's this free kick that Iago Aspas scored. Mm, tantalizing. And also the goal that Suarez scored first for, for, for Barcelona was a well-cooked goal. As in, hey, Ilipikwa. Nanan else than Messi, you know. Uh, so it was a fantastic goal, fantastic game, four goals, but a draw. A terrible result for Barcelona because uh, there's no way Real Madrid were going to lose. They won one nil against Espanyol. They almost seemed like they were going to draw also, but they won. Now they are two points above uh, Barcelona. And Pale Kameshika Motombaya, they have six games to go. I think in six games. Yeah, they have six games to go. Barcelona are two points behind uh, Real Madrid. And Najua Pale Kuendelea moving forward ni kushinda kila game, kila game lazima ushinde, kila game, kila game, kila game. So, yeah, they will feel hard done by the draw, Barcelona, that's for sure. Uh, then Syria is also uh, catching up. They have, like, I think, 10 games to go. And it's interesting because the title there is not yet decided. Juventus are on top with 69 points with 10 games to go. Second is Lazio, who have 65, 4 points. Third is Inter Milan, who have 61, 8 points between number 1 and number 3. With 10 games to go. Apo Katawaka Moto. Even the Champions League and Europa Sports there, they are still very tight because you have teams like Atalanta, Napoli, Milan. Uh, they are all fighting for those slots. So it's going to be interesting moving forward for them. Uh, then we also had the Premier League going down this week. By the way, there was Premier League action going on. Come say Akupanga scored Yake FPL for game week 32. Hey, you are in trouble, my friend. You are in trouble. Uh, so we had on Saturday, we had Wolves playing uh, Aston Villa at Villa Park. They won that game 1-0. Then Donka with the only goal of the game, uh, assisted by Johnny. Then yesterday we had Southampton versus Watford, or Watford versus Southampton uh, at Vicarage Road or Vicarage... Is it Vicarage Road or Vicarage Park? Home ground near Watford. And uh, Southampton had a resounding 3-1 win. And i got to tell you, man, I was looking at Southampton and they, they seem like a decent side. And, and, for some weird reason, this this season they were struggling Uko Chini Chini uh, at the bottom half of the bottom half of the Premier League. But moving forward, if they are able, if Hassan Hato is able to keep likes of James Ward Prowse there, likes of Dunnings there, likes of Habia there, Hoybia there, they have guys like Genepo. Uh, they, they have quite a decent squad. They, they all, I feel like they have quite a decent squad. And then don't forget, Hassan Hato. Is the guy who was involved in the revival of RB Leipzig. Like Ile Leipzig walikati walianza kuruni sasa wana wanileta bishasha pale Bundesliga. Hassan Hato was the coach. Alright? Ndiyo Nagels manaende pale. Of course he was inspired by the works that Hassan Hato had done. And he was saying this is a club on the up. And Hassan Hato was fully in charge of bringing RB Leipzig back. So he's a decent coach. That's not a doubt. And so if he stays, uh, uh, if he's able to keep all those guys at, at Southampton, I feel like Southampton next season, most likely what is a top 10. Now at Asumbua. Zekada Nings, he now has 18 goals, just one goal behind Jimmy Vard, the top scorer in the league, and he's playing for Southampton. Southampton side that is now, I think, 13th in the Premier League. You know? And Dan Ings, Mwazeni Kale Kajamanika, FIFA. Messi akishika ball, kichwa chini, tuende. Till the box or the edge of the box, Alafo Nanza could pick him a short pale. And more often than not, they always end up in the back of the net. That's why he has 18 goals. So, at a come through, most likely you get the feeling like he's going to be bored because he's been prolific. But, 
if Hassan Halto is able to keep him and keep the likes of Ward Prowse, Jenepo and uh, Redmond there still playing the way they are, Southampton or Tasumbua next season. It's, 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 I'm also even kind of surprised that we won there 2 nil. You are saying, hey, ah, so Wanasumbuanga. Wanasumbuanga. And everybody, everybody, anybody who had Danny Ings as his uh, player for FPL, I'm a bug points. Kibao! Hey, I'm a cooler points mingi sana. And the flip side of that is we had the F, uh, FA Cup going on the quarters. And more often than not, Unapatanga Kasasa, Sheffield were playing on Saturday against Arsenal, of course. And left on a game Thursday. So there's a patam seka Lundstrom. Actually, Lundstrom was injured that game. I don't think he's gonna be featuring. So Mzio tell you kwanae kwa FPL squad ka mimi out. Forget. Uh pull six pia naona ni kata kwa doubt for game yao ya ya I think wana season Wednesday. So FPL pale to tell me kidogo you know, but that's what it is because the FA Cup quarterfinals was going down. We had the first game on Saturday uh, between uh, Norwich and Man United. Man United kind of struggled to break down Norwich. Norwich were way much the better team, especially in the second half. And they took all that game to the extra time. Man United were going to 21 of extra time. Second half of extra time. Uh, but in a cup game, all that matters is a W. If you get a W, it does not matter how you got it. In the cup game, Umeshinda, we end the home, Mina and Wembley, you know, and just like that, they are now going to Wembley. They're going to be facing Chelsea because the draw was done for the semis. Chelsea will be playing against, uh, they were playing against Leicester yesterday. They won that game 1 0. Uh, Rose Buckley coming off the bench to score. Uh, Arsenal was playing uh, against Sheffield, who won that game 2 1. Hey, game was tricky, man. It was a tad tricky, you know. <laughs> hey, Sheffield was a little later. Well, it will let them buy, but I think the most important thing is that we, we scored when you're supposed to. You know, when, when you're supposed to score, especially after going down and for the equalizer, we scored immediately and that was great. I think that was fantastic for us. Now we are all the way to the, to the semis to face Manchester City again. The last time we won the FA, we faced Manchester City in the, in the semis. So we might just, but hey, apa. <laughs> so Manchester City were also playing yesterday. They were playing against Newcastle. They won that game 2 0. All right, so. That's what it is. The, the FA Cup uh, games will be played, I think, 20 days from now or something of the sort. So we're going to be waiting to see who's going to be going to the uh, finals. Because, hey, Arsenal, we have a chance of winning a trophy here and we should grab it. And we will grab it with both hands. So it, it's a cup game. Cup game, you can never be too sure on anyone. You can never. The last time to Libeba, what we were going to say, we were going to to kind of pick Chelsea final. They were the league champions at that point in time. What we were going to say, hey, Conte, we were going I'm, I don't want to bank on that, but if that is anything to go by, you can never be too sure in these cup games. Uh, so that's what it is. So this week you also have some Premier League games like Ken Leok. We have Crystal Palace versus Burnley. And then we have some other games tomorrow. Uh, like uh, Tottenham are going away to Sheffield. We have City versus Liverpool. We have Chelsea playing against West Ham. We have Arsenal uh, playing against Norwich. So some interesting fixtures. We'll be posting them up uh, as time goes on today and maybe tomorrow. All right. We also have a big game tomorrow by the way. Barcelona versus Atletico Madrid. They have to win that one. They have to win. So it's going to be interesting. That's all for now, folks. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. God bless and take care.